Hi there, what's your name? My name is Desiree De Silva. Hi Desiree, where are you living in Hong Kong? I live in Sam Cheng, so close to Gold Coast. All right, and uh, where are you from? I'm Irish, half Irish, half Filipino, but I'm born and brought up here in Hong Kong. Okay, very well. So before you came to the UCKG Help Center, you carried some luggage and you had some problems in your life. Mm -hmm. Tell us more about your story and how it affected you. So growing up, uh, I, was, I didn't have a very good relationship with my mom. She was quite verbally abusive, sometimes physically, not as much, but the verbal abuse um, that came from her really put me down. It caused me to be really underconfident, insecure. I believed, I started to really believe in the words that she said to me. So I started thinking that I was ugly, I wasn't good enough to do anything, I couldn't achieve anything. And I don't think that was her intention, but yeah, the words came out negative and that had a negative impact on me. Uh, and then eventually as time passed, um, I started to become depressed oh, from a quite a young age. I used to have thoughts coming in my mind telling me, you're not good enough. You're not good enough. Um, you're never gonna get out of, yeah, you're just, I had no reason to think these things. Like I was, I had a family that got along relatively well growing up. We were well off. Um, I had everything around me, but somehow I was empty and sad and depressed and felt like I could never achieve anything at all in my life because it all started from that bad relationship with my mom. Okay, so the lesson we can learn here with the story of Desiree is that sometimes the problem is not on the outside, but the problem is inside. And learn this lesson, you mom, you dad, parents that are out there, the words that we speak, they have great power. And you may say something, and you may think it's, it's, it's small, it's a little thing, but perhaps your kids, they kept that little word, and it's growing, but not in a good way. It's growing in a bad way, and it's really affecting their confidence. We adults, we can open our mouth, and we can say things, and we don't realize that our words have such great impact. So in, in your life, it had a great impact. It affected you in a big way. Yeah, even as I grew up. So that was kind of like the beginning stage, let's say. I became depressed. Problem was, as I grew older, I could never get rid of those feelings. No matter how irrational I knew those thoughts were, um, I couldn't get rid of them. And I ended up trying to search for happiness in other things. So for example, I started drinking heavily a lot. I would finish... For example, to start my night, I would drink a bottle of wine. That's just to start the night sort of thing. By the end of the night, the next day, there were days where I would wake up, I couldn't see anything. I'd have to lie down in bed all day, like blacked out. Uh, I would try to find happiness in relationships. I went from boyfriend to boyfriend. And um, a lot of them were nice guys, but um, because I was so empty inside, so unhappy, um, nothing could fulfill me, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, addiction problems, mm -hmm. but the addictions were a result of the words that were planted. Right? Yeah, exactly. So because of that depression and then addiction. Mm. It's interesting to, to notice that depression and addiction are closely uh, go hand in hand, actually, because every person, most of the people that suffer with depression, they resort to addictions, yes. Most of the people with depression, they also have addiction problems, mm -hmm. and vice versa. So in your case, addiction and depression, they were part of your life. Yeah, exactly, right? it all interlinked, everything was interlinked. <laughs> right, so uh, then, of course, you, you, you came to the church, mm -hmm. you came to the help center, and you found the altar, okay? Tell us more about your transformation when you came to the help center, what did you do? How did you get help? So I was actually invited by my mom, the one that I didn't like very much. I actually hated before. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was like basically just before I came, like I just noticed she was kind of, she started attending here and then she started showing differences in herself. We started to get along a little better. So I thought, okay, I'll give it a go. I'll come. Um, and then when I got here, um, every th I started listening to the messages and things and everything that um, I heard here really kind of touched me. It really felt applicable to me, like it was very um, relevant. 
Um, it hurt a lot of the things that I heard. I didn't want to hear a lot of the things, but I knew that I needed it somehow, and that it, that if I were to put into practice whatever I learned, um, for sure, well, at the time I wasn't sure, but I thought, oh, I've seen these other people seeing a change in their life, so why not myself if I did what they did, if I were to do what they did, which is just to follow what they learned at the help center. Um, so yeah, so I did a whole load of things. I, I, I started doing some chains of prayers. I joined in some women's meetings here, and during the women's meetings, they set tasks and things. Uh, one of the big tasks that really helped me um, move forward was very simple. It was just, especially with my relationship with my mom, um, it was about uh, asking for your parents' blessing every single day. And it was just, some, just you know, just ask them, just a quick prayer sort of thing as you, as you leave the house. Mm -hmm. Um, and I remember, like, at first I was like, I don't want to do that. Because <laughs> I didn't have that relationship with my mom, even though as I started coming here, we started developing a better relationship, but it wasn't completely changed. Like, I still had that a little bit of grudge, a little something there against her. And also, whenever I saw her, I could only remember her as who she was before. And that would kind of remind me of why I was the way that I was and everything. So it was all complicated. But... um. Um, so anyway, yeah, so I started doing that. I asked her to start blessing me every day. Even some days when we had argument in the morning or disagreement, let's say, I would, I would go to her and be like, okay, can you just please just bless me before I go to work? <laughs> Unwillingly, but I knew I, I was sincere and I knew I wanted something to change. Um, and then over time, I even do it to this day actually. Um, and over time, we started, uh, I don't know, we started getting a bit, getting closer together. That that um, just her putting her hand on me every day. It was like that, that um, connection somehow for us to get closer, for our bond to grow closer. Mm -hmm. um, and then over time I realized that a lot of the problems weren't even from my mom. I was always blaming her all the time. Uh, I realized that a lot of it was just from within me. Yeah, okay, fine, she gave me some words, but it was my decision whether or not I chose to believe in them and whether I accepted them. So, and also, as she was changing, I had to start seeing her with different eyes as well because she was trying to be a better person so why should i keep insisting to remember who she was before so over it was an overnight like it took you know some time praying like working on myself and everything but uh, eventually finally we started to uh, develop a really strong like strong really nice mother and daughter relationship um than ever before yeah so now as it, where i used to hate hate her i mean i really hated her <laughs> I mean that. Today, she's one of my bestest friends. Like, we get along, we spend time together, we enjoy our time together, uh, and it's sincere. Like, I don't have any feelings or anything, bad feelings towards her. We're understanding to e towards each other. That's not to say, like, yeah, we don't have disagreements, of course, we're mother and daughter, but we know how to overcome it together now because we don't see each other with negative eyes, and I worked on myself, so I'm confident in myself now. Um, I don't blame things on other people. I realize, okay, no, I, 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 can, I can work on this. I can work on myself every single day. Still work in progress, but mm -hmm. working every day. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the, the lesson we can learn here, just to wrap it up, is very important because Desri is actually saying that there were times she was asked to do things that she didn't want to do. And for you to change your life or to change your situation, it's not about doing what you like to do. It's about doing what is necessary. And when you start doing what is necessary, everything becomes possible. And when you ask for help, you also have to be willing to, to listen to the advice that you get. And that's what you did, right? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I could have kept coming here, listening, listening, but if I didn't put any of it into practice, yeah, and I asked for help also, like counseling, things like that. But if I didn't put anything that I was taught into practice, then yeah, then nothing would have changed. So. Okay, so today, uh, Desri, how is the depression? No more, Bishop. <laughs> how about the, the addiction? No more, nothing. Free from addictions? Mm -hmm. How about the low self-esteem? No more as well. That's the biggest, most amazing thing for me. <laughs> All right, so the, the altar... Yeah has transformed you inside, mm -hmm. transformed as well the relationship with your mother. Mm -hmm. You enjoy a very healthy bond with your mom. But apart from all these blessings, what is the most important victory in your life? Most important is my salvation, Bishop. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Ask and you will receive.
One of the most underused tools of success is the power of asking. But few people know how to ask in the right way. Asking intelligently is a very good way to find the root of your problems. Knowing how to ask is the beginning of getting what you want. Universal Church of the Kingdom of God, helping you to make a new beginning.